Hey guys, I'm Mezzi. Welcome back to another first look video. The second new dungeon on the board with an alpha this week is the Dawnbreaker. This is a new dragon riding dungeon and it is quite chaotic. This won't be like my usual quick start guide videos. It'll be a full playthrough of the dungeon as I test and learn the mechanics of the dungeon. Wait, finally. The Dawnbreaker, attempt number two. Ah, oh, so yesterday we got one boss down and then after the first boss, uh, the... Uh, the uh, group fell apart really quickly. Hopefully that doesn't happen this time. Instance. <laughs> Everyone is surprised we actually got into the dungeon. The cures have been terrible. Absolutely terrible. So, let's see, All, when I tried this uh, one yesterday, uh, the trash kept respawning. And I don't know what the intention is. Oh, we can just kill that one pack and go straight to the ship this time. There was, the server did go down between my first attempt and now. So maybe that's the reason why it's working. Um, so we have mages we need to interrupt. The commander has something we need to interrupt. And these are going down a whole lot faster than yesterday. Interesting. If I remember correctly, we're supposed to clear the entire ship. And this is just really cool. The ship flies. The airship. It seems some people might actually know what to do, maybe. That'll be helpful. The, uh, the chatter on uh, this particular dungeon has not been very positive, uh, and specifically for after the first boss. So I'm really curious. I haven't done it. It's really just been uh, this airship portion that I've done. And yeah, it looks like we have to clear them. No time to rest. Head to the next ship to defeat the crew. All right, let's go on our brand new engineering mount, which looks really amazing, by the way. Because I think we're supposed to go to the other ships now. What's this? Okay. That the golden orb didn't give us any new buffs or anything like that. Mm. Enables dynamic flying. Yeah, because this is a dragon riding uh, instance. Oh, and we have to click that. Rizak planted Arathi bomb, take flight. Okay. And then we need to go to the other ship. So this is not... Fully a blind run. It's mostly a blind run. Again, I did the first boss. Uh, once, obviously. And that's it. Tainted Slash. So, so far it's just some basic casters to interrupt. And planting bombs. And then we go back to our own airship. The Dawnbreaker. And I think we get the first boss now. No, that's not the boss. I assume some RP has to take place first. Speaker, Shadow Crown. Yeah, that's the boss. Alright, let's see what you have in store for us, Speaker. So we have an interrupt. We have a cast that can't be interrupted. Burning Shadows. Okay. Ah, darkness comes. We need to fly for that. And we need to wait for the bubble to expire. Or I suppose the cast to end. 
And then we go back to the ship. Oh, we have one dead person. Okay, burning shadow. So what is this? Upon removal, applies the shroud. Oh, okay. No path available. Great. Oh, the, the pet can't attack it. Uh, attack the boss from there. Great. Mm, shadow darkness comes. Okay, so what we saw... You know, we'll check the journal in a moment anyway. So, let's wait. Darkness comes. But there was a healing absorb there. And there was also an expanding ring. Alright, so let's look at the journal. Uh, so, first, speaker, shadow crown. Uh, so, this is the one boss I had already seen. Darkness comes. So, this was the big bubble of void that you needed to... Um, a dr a mount up on your dragon riding mount and fly off f and wait for it to disappear. Yeah, destroying players aboard and while uh, casting the boss is immune to damage, so there's no reason why you would stay on the ship at all. Then there's Obsidian Blast, dealing a large amount of damage to the tank and a small amount to all players. Okay. So there's nothing you can really do about this other than making sure on uh, probably needing a cooldown once this gets to a tyrannical high mythic plus key. Uh, collapsing darkness rips open portals at targeted locations, inflicting damage to targets within six yards, nine yards, and twelve yards uh, sequentially. Okay, so those were the expanding circles, right? I like actually the way this is. Uh, described how uh, with uh, six yards, nine yards, twelve yards sequentially, because this isn't the first time we've seen uh, an expanding ring. Uh, we have it right now in what's it called, Halls of Infusion. Um, it one of the bosses in Vault of the Incarnates has the same thing, but this uh, is a good way of describing it in the journal. So I really like that. Uh, then we have Burning Shadows. This was the debuff I wasn't sure about. So, the, be uh, the boss shares a link between uh, body and soul, or shares the link between body and soul, inflicts damage every second and reducing movement speed. Upon removal, this link dissipates across all players, applying Shadow Shroud. So, I wonder if this means that if you don't dispel it, it doesn't do the healing absorb. This is something uh, I'd be very curious uh, in maybe testing at some point if uh, people are up for that. Because uh, then it might just be the, uh, um, the choice to make, right? Keep the one player alive, heal through the dot. And then don't deal with the healing absorb. But maybe because uh, have removal, it could also just mean it removes when it expires. It still puts the healing absorb on players. So we'll have to wait and see. And the last one, Shadow Bolts, just deals some damage to the uh, to a random player. Okay, so the healing absorb is a big one. The expanding circle. And of course, the going off the ship uh, when a darkness comes is cast. Very interesting. Oh, I should report that. Oh, people are already going down. Three new rubies, lieutenants. Okay, so this is where I know nothing. Ursak, where are you? So here we're supposed to kill a bunch of lieutenants, right? That's what it said. So we have to go through this, Jesus, through the city. That's a lot of damage. I'm just turning these. And 
and I know from yesterday the boss patrols around the area. So, I think, yeah, we're supposed to go to each of these dots. Uh, hang on. Defeat Anubikaj. Okay, so not that dot. Okay, so the shield can be uh, dispelled. Black Edge is clearly a cone that needs to be pointed away. Or obviously, just don't stand in it. And... This is going quite quickly. Mm. Mob's not pulling this time. Yeah, yesterday the mobs did just uh, kept getting pulled. More and more uh, wouldn't leave us alone. Oh no, fear. Uh, please don't turn me into mobs. Uh, Black Hill. Okay, that's the swirls. There's just a lot going on at the same time. There's a What's this? Yeah, and because of the fear, so far I haven't seen how you could stop the fear. Attacking Nova. Okay, Anubikaj, what in the world do you do? Dark Orb. That's a lot of text. Okay. And it essentially just means don't stand in the way of the orb. Slam, easy enough to understand. Radiant Decay. That's just an AoE. And honestly, so far, oh, ah, the orb sh is shot at a player and you have a, uh, what you call it, um, arrow on your head. Okay. Let's look at Anu Ikaj. Uh, this one didn't really do much, or at least it felt like. So we have a uh, terrifying slam uh, on the tank. Knocking them back and additionally inflicts damage to targets within 15 yards, fearing them for three seconds. Oh, I, I don't know how long the cast time was, but maybe this means that uh, if the cast time is long enough, you need to run away from the boss when Terrifying Slam is cast so that you're not feared for three seconds because that's a long time and Trash is still walking around, so... You can can easily accidentally pull something. Uh, we have Dark Orb. That's something we did see. Huh? Uh, we got the arrow on our head. He uh, throws the uh, Shadow Orb at you. Um, which travels until impact. Exploding for shadow damage to all players. Decreasing the damage as the orb travels. And Dark Empowerment enhances Dark Orb to additionally inflict shadow damage to all players every second and decrease movement speed by 95%. Uh, okay, so this Empower thing is something I don't think we saw. Uh, I see here below Empowered Nerubian, so we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, but it seems like uh, the further away you stand, the less damage Dark Orb deals. And actually, now that I'm reading this like this, uh, the orb didn't really move when it was on me at the end of the fight. Uh, and I was standing close to the boss. So maybe when you get Dark Orb on you, you have to actually move away from the boss as well. Uh, just like 
terrifying slam, you have to run away. Maybe Dark Orb as well. To decrease the damage that the group takes. Um, and then Radiant Decay is just a an AoE on the whole group. Okay, Empowered Nerubians. Uh, gains increased power from his Nerubian lieutenants. Um, re defeating them removes this power. Okay, so these lieutenants are the ones we killed in the uh, killing the trash before before we started the bo uh, the boss. Um, empowered might enhanced by dark rituals, increased damage done by thirty percent and health by fifty percent. Right. Okay. So you really just want to make sure that you kill the ads uh, or not the ads rather, but the trash beforehand. All three lieutenants. Uh, so that the Dark Orb doesn't reduce your movement speed by 95% and deals the damage to the entire group every half a second. Um, so really, three basic abilities. An a AoE, just an aura. The Orb, which sounds like you have to actually move away from the uh, boss when you get targeted. And the Terrifying Slam, which again, move away from the boss. Um... That was anticlimactic. Where do we go now? Uh, go to the Dawnbreaker. Okay. What the hell? Roshanan. Oh, this is the final boss already. That looks amazing. You've been targeted by rolling acid, okay? Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, Arathi bomb. Drop the bomb you're holding. Okay, so move the line away and the bomb I put on the boss? Wait, is that it? Pets are oh, gone. That's why they're not doing anything. But they are having trouble with the deck. The Knights fall bomber or I should throw bombs, okay? Oh, what... Uh That puts it on you. Begins to flee, take flight. Okay. It seems we have to follow this. This darkness is overwhelming. Remember to get the lamplighter's blessing. What is the lamplighter's blessing? Is that just this? It must be. Okay, I'm not sure what to think of that. Ooh, okay. That's... That's very bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sh Did we just wipe? What what happened there? <laughs> I uh Report issue. This would indicate that the boss is done. Oh wait, there's there's a chest over there. Huh. Yeah, that's that's the end of it. <laughs> Let's see. What does he say? I'm not sure what happens when he lands. He always dies if someone is alive. Okay, so this is clearly bugged still. 
Um, interesting. Uh, but this is the instance, I guess. I, I can understand why people on the Alpha are uh, apprehensive about going to this dungeon. But we just saw we went through this really quickly. Once you get your footing on the ground after the first boss, things go by swimmingly. Uh, this is uh, really, it's a good dungeon. I like it. Um, so let's uh, check the journal then. Okay. Let's uh, look at Rashan Rashanan then in the uh, journal, which was very strange as an encounter. Uh, Arathi bomb. So those were the bombs I picked up uh, with the extra action button. Um, toss an explosive on the deck of the Dawnbreaker, which detonates after 20 seconds striking all players, right? Holding this bomb isolates the explosion to the affected player. Okay. Arathi bombs thrown at the boss detonate, inflicting 12% of her health. Right. So we did that. Uh, carrying the bomb deals continuous damage to you. Drop the bomb just puts it down. And hurl bomb is if you're within 20 yards of the boss. So as I, as, as I did, I picked up the bomb, moved to the boss, and then uh, threw it at the boss. Which, who, by the way, looks amazing. This is, this is a really unique and cool model. Top, top notch work, Blizzard. Great. Um, then we had the Rolling Acid. Blasts mark targets with a poisonous concoction which flashes across the arena. All right, so those were the green lines. Upon creation, players in the corrosion gain acid uh, stopper. Uh, each period, players remain. Okay, so each um, second you remain in the line. You get the dot, right? Uh, you're also stunned for half a second. And yeah, you get this uh, dot on you. So you want to move it away from the group. One thing I actually didn't notice while playing. I'll see when editing this video. Um, there seems to be a specific direction. The, uh, the line will go in. The wave of poison. Um... So I'm hoping it shows you an arrow or something to give you an indication of where uh, it'll uh, roll to. So you go to the correct side, right? Because you want to move to the side with the line so it doesn't hit the group. But if you go to the right and then the wave rolls to the left, then you're going to hit everyone with the line still, which is something you definitely don't want to do. Then the last ability, Rashanan spews acid for two seconds. Right, okay, so that's just AoE damage. Uh, and then we had the escape. And here things get strange. So we had to mount up. Um, don't let her get away, yeah. A lamplighter skiff rallies the Dawnbreaker, granting radiant light while flying near. Or, oh, hold on. Or while riding the skiff. Protected from encroaching shadows... By an earthy lamp, lighter, or active dawn tower enables dynamic fly me. Okay, so that was the... Um, it's just staying near the flying boat. Skiff, I guess the correct word is. But this is very interesting. Or while riding the skiff, does this mean you can choose to not dragon ride? And instead just sit on that boat and let it bring you to phase two? And what then raises another question for me is, uh, this Arathi lamplighter, which is uh, uh, this boat, uh, protects you from the shadow. But this also says, or active dawn tower. Does this mean you could choose to not follow the boat, but instead uh, make your way faster to uh, the... Uh, actually, to this place. Uh, the dungeon is basically the entire map here this zone and we end up here uh, in phase two so does that mean we can fly directly to this spot uh, by uh, flying next to dawn towers which i assume are just these towers interesting Th this 
this requires further testing, but I don't think that's going to happen in this week of the alpha. Uh, then the final thing, acidic eruption. And I assume that this is what killed four out of the five people. Upon reaching the grounds, uh, she deals damage to everyone until interrupted. Um, she landed and killed us pretty much instantly but the fight seemed to bug out at that moment because it's completed afterwards so what was supposed to happen after we landed R Rasham blasts webs at targeted players tethering the original target and creating sticky webs okay so this leashes you to a spot 10 yards And maybe you can. Oh, okay. So what I assume is the intention is you get webbed to a certain spot. If you move further than 10 yards away from that spot, the strand snaps and then it deals AOE damage to everyone. So what you'll need to do is uh, uh, break free one at a time, right? So that the healer can heal everyone back up. Sticky webs, the threads uh, deal damage every half a second. Okay, so it's not like so you want to just wait around uh, to break the strands. Then there's rolling acid, incinerate sticky webs, and deals damage to players within 10 yards, and forms a caustic zone for 10 minutes. So that's an AoE that you need to not stand in. Rolling Acid, this sounds familiar. So this is the phase one ability again, the green line. And there is the AUE again. Okay, so phase two sounds very interesting, uh, but it is very much bugged at the moment. Okay, actually a really cool dungeon. Um, there's definitely a, uh, a reluctance on the alpha to... Uh, go into it again simply because of the trash section after the first boss but other than that and of course the bugginess of Rashanan, uh i like it very cool fight uh, the dragon riding feels much better compared to how much of it's uh, and the distances you had to uh, traverse in onarm plains right in the naku defensive so that's really cool. I really like the application of dragon riding here. Um, yeah, and that's it. Just three bosses for both this dungeon and the uh, Priory of the uh, Sacred Flame from yesterday. Uh, so that's where we're going to leave things. So as we look at Rashinan, um, If you like this video, please do like and subscribe. Um, and let me know what you think of this dungeon. Uh, I'm very curious how uh, other people will look at this because there's a lot of uh, alternative movements going on compared to your regular dungeon. So I imagine not everyone will like this. Um, and yeah, other than YouTube, if you want to keep up with the other things I do, uh, you can follow me over on Twitter where I tweet uh, random wow things out. Like for example, the... Uh, fact that I was able to tame a cat on the alpha and it kept its armor and saddle and I'm very sure that's a bug that's not supposed to happen but on the alpha anything can happen so this looks really cool these will be my pets for now armored lynxes very cool um, and I also stream on twitch occasionally not on, on a uh, set schedule but I try to uh, do at least one uh, alpha stream per week. And uh, I also stream at least a portion of my Mythic Plus group's uh, Mythic uh, runs. So if you're interested in that, uh, check me uh, out over on Twitter and Twitch. Also at BBMezzy. Um, for now, I'm Mezzy. And I'll see you again next time.